y'all back to basics mom here and I'm just getting ready to load up my new purple ATG gun for the first time and I know a lot of people have trouble loading their ATG guns and I noticed on this one it doesn't have the little instructions kind of on the inside like my pink one does like your pink one has these kind of arrows here and there's some on here too so you kind of know how to load it so um, I was looking at my purple one, brand new, see I still have the, the packaging in there. So which I'm going to take this out and you know, I at first thought, oh I'll just keep that, but yeah we all know those get lost. So I'm going to use some Sharpie in here and see if I can mark that. So just a little tip for you, you might want to do that for yourself. So I'm just going to try and draw some arrows. And see if that helps me for next time because it has to go down around your winder this way so we will see how that goes now we will try this out this is the first time I've ever tried to do this on camera so we are gonna see how it goes so you're gonna want to let line up when you're open slots there with your little, I don't know if you can see it there, there's a little nub there that that's going to hook onto. I'm going to push it down and it'll snap on right there. So then we're going to weave that around and you got to pull the trigger so it unwinds. If you want to pull it nice and tight you can and then pull your trigger again. And I'm just pulling out some extra, excuse my arm. So this is not like a pretty and elegant thing to do. It's usually kind of, yeah, not real pretty. And I try to pull it as tight as possible. And I pull my trigger again and wind. Looks like I'm off just a little bit. It is fairly forgiving. So then we will just find some. I've got some scrap paper here. This is a, one of my butterfly stamps didn't come out too good, but we'll just try. And then you just pull your trigger, slap it down. Okay, now this is going to take for me a little bit of getting used to because on your pink one, your tape is over here. And on this one, your tape is over here. So when you're aiming, that is going to take a little bit of getting used to. So, see I'm putting it too close so it's wrapping down around the edge. So that'll take a little bit of getting used to. But then I'm going to pop it open, see how it's winding. It looks like it's winding okay. Now, if you are having trouble with your ATG guns and it seems like your tape is meandering, I have not had to do this, but there are some videos out there on making a shim to go over the top of this. So I know Prairie Paper and Ink, um, she's on YouTube. You can check her out. She's got a pretty good video and I think there's a couple others. So you can just look up ATG shim and you probably find something. I have not had to do that. I've had pretty good luck. I find if I just wind it on nice and tight um, from the start that it usually works pretty good. So hopefully that'll help me. I might put some marks on the inside of this too. Who knows? We'll see what the mood strikes me. So um, that's all for today. Do something crafty today and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.